Okay, in this video, I want to go over how to find the areas and parameters of irregular shapes. So irregular shapes look something like this. So the first thing we want to do is that we want to go ahead and somehow chop this irregular shape into like a few different regular shapes. And your regular shapes can be like a rectangle, triangle, trapezoid, even a circle too sometimes. If we take a look at this irregular shape, we can tell right away that if we connect, if we connect um, this part, See, we got two rectangles. I'm gonna call this rectangle R1. I'm gonna call this R2. Okay, so, you know, easily, if we want to find the perimeter of this irregular shape, we just have to add all the sides together. But what are all of those sides? Well, we're missing one size. In this case, we're missing this side. This can be easily found by recognizing the fact that this parallel side of 10 centimeters is just the sum of this given one and this one. So if this is 10 centimeters and this is 6, well, the leftover is going to have to be 4. So this is 4 centimeters. Okay, so the perimeter of this is just going to be the sum of all of the sides. So 10 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4. 10 plus 5, 10 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 and then plus 9. What's that would be equal to what? Let's see. 15 plus 6, 21 plus 4, 25. 25 plus 9 is going to be 34. So this is 34 centimeters. Okay. Now what about the area? Well, the area of this irregular shape is just going to be the sum of the first rectangle and the second rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to say capital A sub R1 plus capital A sub R2. So capital A stands for area and sub R1 means of rectangle 1 and area of rectangle 2. Okay, so how do we find the area of rectangle 1? Well, easily just take, take um, the horizontal, multiply the vertical. So take the width or the length or, you know, you call it. So take the length, uh, I mean the width, 4 centimeters, multiply by... 9 centimeters. Okay, so this is equal to 4 times 9 plus the area of the second rectangle. Well, the area of a second rectangle is going to have to be the length 6 multiplied with 5. Okay, so we're not multiplying this thing. We're just going to multiply this, which is right there. So if this is 6, this is 6. If this is 5, this green part here is going to have to be 5 centimeters. Okay, well, 6 times 5. Well, mental math, we know 4 times 9 is going to be 36. 6 times 5 is going to be 30. Well, 36 plus 30 is going to be 66 centimeters square. And that is how we do this problem.